Um, Terry Crews. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's, let's end with Terry Crews. Um, now, Terry Crews got himself in a bit of bother because he, I guess he's going through some kind of awakening, I guess. Maybe he's getting red-pilled or whatever. Um, he seems to have kind of uh, tried... He seemed to position himself as the sayer of things people don't want to say, right? He's kind of being that guy... Um, within the black community in america and i guess it's kind of a it's kind of a dangerous position to play because for the most part most of the black entertainment people yeah most of the people in the entertainment industry who are black or in the hollywood industry they sort of you could probably you know they probably all align to a certain political party right they're probably all democrats for the most part um they all probably lean left more so than lean right so to stay to kind of like put yourself out in front and say anything that sort of deviates from the general consensus it's quite risky if you're um a black hollywood celebrity especially if you're a black hollywood celebrity like terry cruz who doesn't necessarily have the best reputation amongst his peers mostly because of the nonsense he did once he got himself in, inside himself in the whole gabrielle union beef that she had with americans got talent right which is a really stupid thing to do in the first place i don't know why he got himself involved i think that's what really fucked him up in the first place number one no one should be going to terry cruz for any kind of political or socio or, or social justice um you know uh point of view or uh impression you don't you should not go for him for your kind of you know takes on what's going on in the world that's not what he's there for he's there to you know flex his pecs be funny on camera and just you know generally goof around tell you how to navigate the industry as a black guy coming up blah 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 but you don't go to him for those kind of takes that isn't his forte but unfortunately you know in the age of social media in the age of streaming i guess and us having phone cameras and whatever people just talk about shit that they don't know about and they just you know they get themselves positions or maybe you know brands or news companies are looking for clickbait titles and they ask you a question to set you up and then you buy it and then suddenly you're on the front page of everywhere and you're having to apologize so he's in the same situation right he was asked a question about what he thought gabriel he thought about what yeah he was asked a question regarding gabriel union's ongoing legal battle with the great has got talent because i think she's suing america's got talent for discrimination or something along those lines and instead of just you know towing the party line and just you know just not even towing the party line but just instead of just having no comment on it because you don't know the case and you know you don't know the business is going on behind the scenes he instead i think he kind of like uh i'm pretty sure i have the note here he added a bit onto the comment that really made it spicy that everyone started hating him about where he said something like oh um i've never i've never had a if it's something about america's got talent being the most diverse right the, the most uh diverse group of people he's ever worked with in his career which is absolutely insane so something to say right and that little sentence i think the end of it is what really fucked him up and this and if you see the new tweet he did you'll know that he has a tendency to put in his you know putting his foot in his mouth and really fucking up because the general sentiment of his tweet was okay but he just added a couple more words in the tweet that actually spun it the other way so this is the original article from BuzzFeed. Um, doesn't really, should I get it up on here? Yeah, it doesn't get up on here. So it's a bit from BuzzFeed. So it's Terry Coos is being criticized for not standing up for a Gary Union. And it says here, actor Terry Coos has been criticized for praising uh, America's Got Talent after former judge Gary Union was dropped from the show for allegedly calling out a toxic work environment. Um, and he says here, he says, um, I can't speak for sexism because I'm not a woman, right? which you probably should just stop there right uh but i appreciate gabriel union as an actress i appreciate gabriel union as a, as a castmate as a colleague and um i hope whatever she's going through i'm standing there with her but uh, whatever just something along the line but he didn't say that this is here's what he said he says i can't speak for sexism because i'm not a woman crew said today show her some thursday but i can't speak on the behalf of any racism comments that was never my experience at great america to a talent like he went so hard in the paint trying to appease the people that he works with which is really ridiculous because he should know more than anyone having been you know he's a hollywood veteran that if he makes one if one fuck up right one mistake one social faux pas and whoever owns americans got talent will drop him like a hot potato they, they, they don't have any loyalty to you whatsoever so for you to go over and above to kind of you know 
protect the brand of this company you don't own just because you you know because it's a cushy job i'm imagining right being a judge on america's got talent is not really much to do um you get to kind of see the fucking freaks and geeks of the world who uh, exalt you as some sort of you know bastion of what's good or what taste is yeah you kind of get this false impression that you have taste because you're able to discern if somebody can sing or not sing which is you know anyone can do that um i'm pretty sure my cat could do it um but I guess he, that job is so cushy, he went just to protect at all means, by all means necessary. And he just fired back in his face. So he says, I can't speak of that. Da, da, da. And then it continues. says, uh, Cruz went on to call the talent show, which hosts <laughs> host the most diverse place I have ever been in the, my 20 years of entertainment. Do you know how insane that comment is to make? Like, because obviously you're insinuating some way, shape, or form that Gabriel Union is a liar, right? You because you know the whole case around the whole idea is that she's suing her because of talent because of like a diversity. The fact she felt uncomfortable in certain meetings, certain topics were coming. I don't know, whatever. There's some there's something behind the scenes there that no one really knows about. It involves you know a really powerful Hollywood player in Gabriel Union and whoever owns um, America's Got Talent, and this guy is like going ham out of the paint. So I guess that's what kind of gave him number one people kind of looking at him a bit side eye right and thinking okay this guy is not really about the culture and probably another thing that gave him a bit of a mark was the thing when he came out and said an agent tried to touch him up at a party in front of his wife right and i guess people just some people in the black community just especially in america just didn't understand why he didn't break that guy's face and then which led some people to think okay maybe you know he's on the down low allegedly i don't know whatever there's there's certain things around him which, which is weird because before those instances before he came out and said anything about his agent and before this guy union incident personally from just an outside point of view i'm not a celebrity guy i don't give a shit what these people do but you know it's locked down everyone's bored i hadn't heard anything bad about terry cruz I don't no one spoke ill of him no one said he was annoying oh, he's so corny i didn't hear nothing about him but the moment he did a couple of faux pas people started to scrutinize everything he did and he gave them every kind of ammunition as i'm going to prove with this you know recent tweet so in theory everything he says here is okay but it's just the way he says it it's just <laughs> messed up in it so i guess off the back of you know the debates that people are having around the protest um that happening now all across america the racial tension is really bubbling things are really on a knife edge at the moment right and there's obviously this idea that some i guess there's some white people in the country who probably feel a little bit uncomfortable talking about race in general there's some of the people who really feel a bit afraid about what's going on they don't want to be they replaced right they don't want to feel like they have to give up their jobs to let black people get a position because they did nothing wrong. It's just a weird tension happening at the moment, right? Black people sometimes feel as if they're still kind of having to fight against, they're just having to, they're hitting up against a brick wall. So I guess this sentiment does, there is some validity to the idea of like we're all a human race, right? Because I think what this protest has proved, the protest against police brutality, this whole defunding the police is that a lot of Americans have. Um, aren't happy with the way police are treating um, their fellow citizens, right? They're not happy about it, right? They they are a bit too aggressive. That's something that we can all agree universally. So, but in order to change, and in order for us to reform, and in order for them to reform, sorry, the police force, they're going to need the help of everybody. That is what it is, isn't it, right? You can't reform the police without everyone's help. That's it, right? But then he, he phrases it like this. He says, defeating white supremacy white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy equality is a truth like it or not we're all in this together now the phrase black supremacy is insane unless you live in africa right there is no such thing as black supremacy in america right that doesn't exist it probably will never exist so the f so him saying that you had in if you want if you replace white supremacy you just get black supremacy is nutty that's not going to happen because there's more of them there how, how can that it just doesn't make any sense that will probably this uh, this whole tweet would work if he just would have just taken out this he just says defeating white supremacy without white people is impossible right equality is i don't know right something like that right if you just took out this end bit defeating white supremacy without white people is impossible like it or not we're all in this together that would have been fine is that right? it's a little bit corny it's a little bit namaste but you know that would have been something that you could have get behind and then suddenly that you just got lit up in the comments 
you know, straight away somebody at the bottom, Terry, 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 how many times did I call your name, delete this, another one was literally mean things, Terry, darling, it's very dangerous to create a false equivalence on the centuries long systemic and institutional pressure mechanism, do better, read more, of course, those words, you know, using big words for the sake of it, but, yeah, you just, like, I, I sometimes wonder whether or not it's all kind of intentional though, it's like, once you play this role, of being like the guy that's gonna say this sort of stuff you just have to keep on doing it um because you you kind of like the attention or just in general because it's just a role you decide to play maybe that's a thing because a lot of those older kind of um hollywood acts hollywood yeah hollywood actors someone like a terry cruz they probably similar to what will smith did when he kind of went on social media you probably have to add another string to your bow because you're not sure how long that Hollywood train where you're the kind of ripped black older dude's gonna go, right? It probably won't last that long. You probably only got maybe a couple, maybe um, a decade left in you, right? Or maybe five years, I don't know. So you have to kind of do other things to, so that when the film career kind of falls off a bit, you can segue into being like a talking head on the show, maybe being a you know a personality on something maybe doing your own podcast i don't know whatever you have to really but you have to set the groundwork for it it's quite hard just to kind of jump out and say hey guys i think we're seeing that happening with um selena gomez isn't it with her cooking show people are like what the fuck because you never saw anything maybe if you're a super fan of selena gomez you might have seen if you on her stories you see her cooking in the morning but you don't know anything about her cooking so suddenly when selena gomez comes out with a I think it's she signed with HBO or some shit I've read, right? So I don't know, some some big network when she comes out with a, a, a cooking show, you're like, what the hell? Where'd this come up from? But the clever way, if you're Terry Crews, is to kind of seed, you know, these, do these little controversial things, say these, you know, have your little weird, um, m um, miscal miscalibrated, uh, hot takes so that once the career does fall by the wayside and you come out and you try to become you know the new Jason Whitlock it's no surprise but I don't know man it's just, it's just a shame really because he didn't, never really struck me as that kind of dude he seemed pretty safe like you know pretty safe like you know, in all sense of the word but now he's just adopted that kind of I'm gonna be that guy that says controversial shit and it's just yeah and again it's just it was just the wrong thing you know it's like what is black supremacy does that even exist when did that exist can you tell me like in america black supremacy it's insane or maybe he was trying to make two points at the same time right there, there is probably a faction there's a group of people within the black lives matter movement who are probably pushing for this like you know <laughs> this really nihilistic kind of like you know conclusion where like all the white people that have done them wrong are kind of you know bending their knee licking their feet and shit and they're on the throne maybe but is now the time to say it probably not but you know again i i, I think this is another example of the older crowd being more susceptible to the viral virus than the younger crew